they win combined with a comparable resolution topographical map will enable scientists to deduce the moon's interior structure and composition and to gain insights into its thermal evolution. That's a history of the moon's heating and cooling, which opens the door to understanding its origin and development. So the gravity fields of the moon can be measured from the surface all the way to the center of the moon. Grail-A will arrive at the moon on New Year's Eve, December 31st, while Grail-B will arrive at the moon on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2012. Both spacecraft approach the moon under its south pole, where they execute a 38-minute lunar orbit insertion maneuver to put them in an elliptical orbit with an orbital period around the moon of just over 11 and a half hours. After a series of maneuvers, the orbit of each of the two spacecraft will become circularized at an altitude of just 34 miles. So far in the countdown, we've not worked any issues, and we'll be anticipating the weather briefing from Dave Kraft coming up in about half an hour. We're now at T minus 118 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. This is Delta Launch Control. Eight minutes of the flow. Coming up on 5,000 gallons on my mark. Mark. Fuel line temp of 87.6. Fuel pump inlet temp of 87.9. This is Delta Launch Control, T minus 116 minutes, 25 seconds in counting. We're approximately halfway through the fueling process of loading RP-1 onto the first stage, which will be followed by the loading of the cryogenic liquid oxygen. During the uh, launch attempt on Thursday, we were able to take some helicopter footage around the launch pad after the Delta II had been loaded with liquid oxygen. And we'll look uh, now here at some of this video from our first launch attempt. Here is Launch Complex 17, Pad A on the left, Pad B on the right with the Delta II and the Grail spacecraft. See the liquid oxygen venting.
The Delta II, as we see it there, is 124 feet tall. It has a diameter of 8 feet. There have been 258 Delta launches from Launch Complex 17. And this rocket is the last one currently planned from this set of Delta pads. The very first one was with the Echo 1 satellite. That was Delta 1 on May 13, 1960 from adjacent pad 17A. as we see it there weighs 624,016 pounds with the Grail spacecraft atop. And we see the very large uh, solid rocket boosters which are what put the Delta II for this mission into the heavy configuration. These are the uh, large nine strap-on solid rocket boosters. We're now at T-minus 113 minutes, 45 seconds and counting. This is Delta Launch Control. Coming up on 7,000 gallons on my mark. Mark. Bill line temp of 87.7 and fuel pump inlet temp of 87.9. Thirteen minutes into the flow. Okay, coming up on uh, eight thousand gallons on my mark. Mark. Fuel line temp of eighty seven decimal seven and fuel pump in a temp of eighty seven decimal nine. PEA, determine 100% fuel load per propulsion propellant loading program and report gallons. Item 46. Roger. QAM, for the gallons, record 9989 nine gallons. That's 9,989 gallons. Copy 9989. Nine. And for the 98%, 9,800 gallons. Copy 9800. 14 minutes into the flow.
15 minutes to the end of the flow. Coming up on 9,000 gallons on my mark. Mark. Fuel line temp of 87 decimal 7. Fuel pump inlet temp of 87 decimal 9. Prop three report average fill line temperature. Roger that. 87.39. Port average fuel pump inlet temperature. 87.77. Prop two take average temps enable off. Copy. Off. Prop two at 9,800 gallons take fuel rapid load closed. Copy that. And prop to observe the caution note on page 60 should the rapid load fail to close. Roger, welcome. Sixteen minutes of the flow. Rapid load has been issued. Slowing down the flow meter. Copy. Prop 2, report your fuel load every 20 gallons. Copy that. 9,840. Seventeen minutes of the flow. 60. 9,880. 9,900 gallons. Prop 2 at 100% fuel load, 9989. Take fuel fine load closed. Copy that. 9989, fine load to close. Copy. 9,920. 18 minutes into the flow. And we're going to use again, once again, flow meter number 1. Roger that. Nine thousand nine hundred forty. Nine thousand nine hundred sixty. Going to 9,989. 9,980. 19 minutes into the flow. 9,989. Find load is closed. Stop the timer. Timer, 100% fuel load. Report the following fuel flow time. 19 minutes and 5 seconds. And UTC clock time. 10. Colon 13, 50, 10, 13, 54. Copy, 10, 13, 54. Prop 2, take fuel storage tank press. Closed. Copy that. Press will come and close. Closed. PEA, report flow meter differential from F10. Two gallons. And Prop 2, report flow meter number one counter and flow